What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, we're not breaking any boxes because this is the conclusion to the Denny Avdia consolidation project, and we got not one, but two packages. So we'll see in a minute. Um, we'll take a look at what all the um, cards sold for, and they actually sold for well above what uh, my original estimates were. So it actually allowed me to get enough funds to upgrade into two cards that I've been wanting for a really long time. So super excited to add these to the PC. I think it was a really successful consolidation project, again, like the, all the other ones have been. Um, so before we unbox these and take a look at both the cards, we're gonna take a quick look back at all the cards that were included in the consolidation, um, as well as the spreadsheet showing all the uh, estimated values, the actual sales price, and then the actual payout, so we can see how much money I had to upgrade into both of these. And like I said, it was really nice that a lot of the cards outperformed what I originally thought they were going to sell for. So super pumped that we got two cards out of this one. So now let's take a quick look back at all the cards that were included in this consignment. All right, here's all 15 cards that were sent for consignment as part of the Denny Consolidation Project. We got a 2021 Prism Gold Wave, numbered to 10. Got a certified Graffiti Green Rookie, numbered five out of five. Immaculate Blue Rookie, number to 25. National Treasures Colossal Jersey Auto, number to 49. Prism Rookie Signatures Choice Red Rookie Autograph. Select Red Wave Rookie Jersey Auto. Obsidian Red Flood Rookie Jersey Auto. Prism Blue to 199 PSA 9. Prism Blue Ice to 125 PSA 8. Prism Fast Break Red, this is to 125, PSA 9. And we got two copies of the Choice Red to 88, PSA 8 and PSA 8.5. Trophy Collection Starlight, um, Pop 2, PSA 10 Rookie. Another Low Pop Galactic Rookie Revolution, PSA 10. And a Pop 1 Flawless Collegiate RPA, number to 20. Dual Gem Mint 10 on the auto and on the card grid. All right, so now that we just looked at all the cards that were in this consolidation project, we're back now at the spreadsheet where we tracked everything. So the first column is the card description of everything we just saw, then the estimated sale price, the actual sale price, and the actual payout for everything. And looking down at the bottom, only 315 bucks. So I estimated pretty low on this and the actual sales were way over, over almost 550 bucks. Uh, so way, way more than what I thought we we're gonna get, leaving us with almost 450 bucks total um, after everything. Um, and looks like uh, our, our big winners were these first couple here, the Prism Cold Wave and the Certified Graffiti Green. Those sold way more than the estimates I had in there. And looking on down the line, a lot of them were pretty similar. I was pretty close on some of them. There were a couple that were below estimates, but the ones that were below were, were still pretty close. Um, and a lot more were, were overestimate again down at the bottom here. This Galactic and the Flawless RPA um, definitely outperformed the estimates that I had in there. So that's going to bring us to our grand total of, again, $447 was the total payout here. Um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, actually, it gave me the opportunity to upgrade into two cards instead of just one. So I was, I was pretty pumped about that. Was really happy with all the sales here. So now let's go take a look at the two cards that we upgraded into after all these sales. All right, we're back now for the final unveiling. Now that we took a look at everything um, that we sold in this consolidation, we got to look at all the totals. Now let's take a look at the two cards that we ended up getting out of here. Let's take a look at, this one came from Australia. This was actually the main one that I was going for. So let's set that aside for a second and we'll take a look at the first one. This one at auction cost me around 180 bucks. So let's see if you guys think it was worth it. So we got a Panini Seal Silhouettes. There's Denny and there we go. This is the Crown Royale Silhouettes Prime Parallel number to 25. This one's 22 out of 25 on card auto. An awesome patch. And that's kind of the reason why I bought this one. I'd seen a couple of other uh, copies of this sell in the past. These never sell cheap, even though I know it's just an RPA to 25, but the silhouettes tend to outsell a lot of other RPAs 
um, you know, with a similar print run, even with OnCard Auto and a big patch like this. Uh, I'm a really big fan of this set. I actually have a lot of other silhouettes of other players, patch autos in my collection. Um, and I actually, I paid more for this one than some of the other recent sales have been just because of the quality of the patch. Um, a lot of the other patches I'd seen, kind of a smaller patch, maybe just a two color, like white and red. This one definitely has some blue in it right there and right there. Not a lot, but you can definitely see the difference. Um, really big chunky patch with multiple breaks in it. Um, so I actually I had the, the base version of this numbered to 199, so much more common plain white napkin relic on that one. Um, so very pumped that I was able to upgrade into this silhouette. So I've been wanting to upgrade from the base uh, for a long time now. So that is card number one that we got in the project. And card number two, again, came all the way from Australia. This one, I think I spent like 260 or 265 on. So the 265 plus the 180 basically equals um, the total uh, payout we got from the consolidation. So it was almost a perfect uh, match up to everything that sold. So now let's see what we got out of this package. If anyone can guess what it's gonna be as we start to pull it out. Oh, gave it away. Gala Denny, number to eight. So um, this is from Chronicles. So you might think uh, Chronicles kind of a low end set. This is not a low end card though. Um, actually, they just switched this. This is not in Chronicles anymore. The newer rookies, um, this is all uh, gonna be coming out of Recon. But the one reason I really like this set there's no parallels. It's super short printed. This one's five of eight. Um, there's, and like I said, no parallels. So it, there's only eight total copies of every player and that's it. So nothing else. Um, so super, super rare. These hardly ever come up for sale. Um, the last public sales I found were off in 2022. So it's been like two years since one of these sold publicly. Um, found someone actually uh, on Instagram selling this. It was funny, there was, it was listed on eBay and I was watching the eBay auction, um, had a really high starting price, so it never got any bids. The, the starting price on the eBay auction was more um, than I ended up paying for the card. Um, but I kept watching the auction on eBay over and over again, just kind of getting relisted. And I was like, man, I should try and find out um, who's actually selling this card to see if they actually want to sell it or, or just kind of listing it on eBay over and over again. Uh, ended up finding the seller on Instagram, exchanged a few messages, um, you know, debated about the price back and forth for a little while, uh, but eventually came to a decision. And again, I, like I said, two, 260, 265 range I paid for this, which is actually, again, higher than the comps. So both of these cards, if you look up the comps for them, I actually ended up paying more than, uh, more than the comps. Again, this one mainly for the patch. And this one, just because, you know, I can't find it. If one of these ever came up for auction, chances are it might sell for a little bit less than what I paid for it, um, but was getting tired of waiting for an auction and waiting and waiting, waiting a couple years and, and none of, nothing ever showing up. So I figured might as well at least make a play on the one that is actually available and for sale. So again, did I overpay on both of these? Maybe by a little bit. Uh, but as part of the consolidation project, I'm okay with that. I think it was a really good idea to sell all the cards that I sold um, that you saw earlier in the video and upgrade into both of these. So let me know what you thought. Um, would you sell all the cards you saw in the earlier part of this video to upgrade into these two right here? For me, no brainer. I would do this 100 times out of 100. I've had a ton of fun doing these consolidation projects. I hope you guys are enjoying them too. And drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Um, of this one right here, but that's going to do it. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next video.